In this Two Minute Metrics episode, we'll talk about Field Weighted Citation Impact, FWCI, how it's calculated, and how you can use it to demonstrate your research impact. The FWCI is special in that it's a field normalized metric, meaning that it caters for differences in research behavior across disciplines. For example, Traditional metrics typically favor STEM disciplines simply because shorter articles are produced more frequently. This means that a higher score simply reflects a research culture, not performance. The methodology of the FWCI is designed to offset these disciplinary differences and is considered a better performance indicator than raw citation counts. So how is FWCI calculated? Simply put, it's the ratio of an output's total citations received versus the expected average total citations received by all similar publications. An FWCI of 1 means you performed just as expected at the global average. More than 1 is above average and under 1 is below average. Note that the FWCI metric is based on citations in Scopus. Let's go into Scopus and take a look at one of Professor Kara Chan's works. You'll see that this article has a citation count of 187, which may seem low compared to articles of a similar age from STEM disciplines. But if you look at the FWCI, it's a 4.03, which is pretty high. This article is actually cited almost four times more than the global average. FWCI can help facilitate the benchmarking of citation performance across groups of different sizes, subject field, article type, and publication year. It was designed as a normalized metric to address the shortcomings of the citation count metric and can help you provide a more meaningful picture of your research impact. That's it for now. Continue on with your metrics journey by watching our other episodes.